believe that everything worth building should be built just once. But that is why we build on culture, on trust, on integrity. We exist to do more, better, faster, safer. Your success depends on the foundation it's built on. Everything we do is meant to move you forward. Marco, let's build Guyana together. Welcome back, your top sports stories. A bolt makes history with third Olympic 100 meter goal. Guyanese triple jumper Troy Doris into final at Rio. Jardine Gonzalez crowned regatta champions. And Stallions, GCC, and Hikers shine at Lucasade Indoor Hockey Tournament. Well, there was no stopping of Usain Bolt as he became the first man to claim three Olympic gold medals in the men's 100 meters at Rio on Sunday. Bolt, who claimed 100 meter, 200 meter, and 4 by 100 meter relay goals at each of the previous Olympics, once again got the better of his rival Justin Gatlin with a time of 9.81 seconds. For those of you who missed the race, let's have a look. Gatlin got a good enough start. Bolt was a bit slow to begin. He's got some work to do. Gatlin's in front. Bolt stretching out now. He's coming after him. He's immortal now. Usain's done it. Gatlin challenge for the silver medal. 9.80 all the way from Beijing to London and now to Rio. It is one of the greatest athletic achievements of all time, if not the very greatest. What a moment. He wasn't great out of the blocks. Gatlin beat him out clearly. Usain had to work. In the end, it was comfortable. Gatlin will take the silver medal by two hundredths of a second, and the Canadian Andre de Grasse will be the bronze medalist. You have just seen a moment, the likes of which none of us is ever likely to see again in this lifetime or any lifetime for that matter. Meanwhile, triple jumper Troy Doris has given Guyana the best chance of breaking its 36-year-old medal jinx at the Olympic Games after he leaped into the final of the event earlier today in Rio. The 27-year-old leaped of 16.81 meters placed him in sixth position heading into Tuesday's finals. The finals for the triple jump competition begins at 8 hours 50 on Tuesday. Under the blazing sun, thousands of boat racing lovers flocked the shores of the Lake Mainstay Resort, Escobar Coast, on Sunday to witness history, where Jose Jardin and Clint Gonzalez were crowned the champions of the 14th annual Lake Mainstay Regatta. Here is more from Romario Samaru. It seemed as though these two drivers were neck and neck to the finish line as both racers tried bettering each other's performance. In the end, Jose Jardin, who powered his machine, flashed the victory in five races to be crowned champion of Group 1, while Clint Gonzalez propelled Miracle to be awarded as champion driver in Group 2. Jardin won the opening event of the day, the 90 horsepower race, as well as the featured opening race, the 40 horsepower and 200 horsepower races. Gonzalez would have finished second place in most of these events. The table turned in the Oren Bell Memorial 90 horsepower, the second 90 horsepower, and second 40 horsepower races where Gonzalez would have won and Jardine came in second place. Both races expressed their delight in the way things unfolded at the 16th annual regatta. Jardine thanked his team for the efforts they had made in order for him to be successful, while Gonzalez said it was an experience that was the deciding factor. The event saw thousands of fans being treated to one of the most historic days in speedboat racing in Guyana. A total of 12 races went on the way, including swimming and canoeing. Thanks, Romario. And finally in sport, as the Lucasade Indoor Hockey Tournament continues, Old Fort Stallions, Pizza Hut, GCC and Hikers all registered wins on Friday at the National Gymnasium. Here is more in this report. In the first match of the night, Pizza Hut GCC outplayed the Old Fort Ladies to an entertaining 5-2 victory. Three goals from the Javier sisters were the deciding factor in the game, in addition to Karina Muller and Vanessa Perez's goal, which led them to five goals. Minnesota Culpepper and Cassie Campbell were the only two goal scorers for the Old Fort Ladies. In the second battle, Hikers decimated the Spartans in a 5-0 drubbing, thanks to hat-tricks of goal from Takesha Dillon, scoring in the 5th, 15th and 40th minutes. 
Carlin Elliott scored in the 12th and Maria Monroe in the 37th minute, rounded off the goals of the match. In the only male match for the night, doubles from Jason De Santos and Omar Hopkinson led the Old Ford Stallions to a 4-1 victory over Saints. De Santos scored in the 8th and 37th minute, while Hopkinson scored in the 26th and 36th minute. Hilton Chester was the only resilience by the Saints team who scored in the 39th minute. The excitement will continue on Tuesday evening at the National Gymnasium with the first match slated to begin at 17 hours. And that's our sport package for this evening which was brought to you by Macorp. We believe that everything worth building should be built just once. And that is why we build on culture, on trust, on integrity. We exist to do more, better, faster, safer. Your success depends on the foundation it's built on. Everything we do is meant to move you forward. Marco, let's build Guyana together. That's all the time we have on the evening news. On behalf of our news and technical teams, I'm Edward Lane saying thanks for watching and have a good rest of